Okay, so now our topic for today is all about logarithmic functions. And these logarithmic functions, we're going to have um, changing from logarithmic to another form. And then we are going to evaluate as well logarithmic functions. So let's begin with um, giving its definition. So we have here, when we say logarithm, um, it is from the word logos and arithmos. So it is a word made up by John Napier, and it is the exponent or power to which a base must be raised to yield a given number. That is what we call logarithm. If we're going to have logarithmic function, it is um, let A, B, and C be positive real numbers such that B should not be equal to 1. The logarithm of A with base B is denoted by um, log B A and is defined as this one. C is equals to log B A if and only if A is equals to B is equals to raised to the power of C. So here, class, um, in our logarithmic function, we have to remind that here, um, you can see that A is equals to B raised to the power of C is equal to or the same as C is equals to or the log of um, base B times A. So here, naatay uh, mga reminders. In both the logarithmic and exponential forms, B is the base. So, di ba, in our lesson last time, that is, kuan man ta, um, logarithmic functions, inequality, and equations. So, this one, this is in the form of exponential form. Well, this one is in logarithmic form. So, both of them, they are in the base B. So, base atong tawag ani niya, base pud ni siya, ang kaning naa sa logarithmic. In the exponential form, C is an exponent. So, C ang exponent sa exponential. And this implies that the logarithm is actually an um, exponent. So, kanimuhang log diri, kay it means that that is the exponent sa imuhang exponential form. Hence, logarithmic and exponential functions are inverse. So, ang balisa exponential, ang logarithmic. Ang balisa or logarithmic, exponential. Okay? Now, let's have in the logarithmic form of um, the logarithm of B times X, X cannot be negative. Or, kaning A na to diri cannot be negative. Dili siya, pwede. Just remember that one because basa ninyo ka change na to from Logarithmic to exponential is inyo siyang i-change. Pero dapat dili man pwede siya nga negative. So, if negative man, it cannot be written into logarithmic na siya. Okay? Now, you have there for number 3, the value of the logarithm of um, x with base b can be negative. So, pwede na ni siyang negative kung gikan siya sa imuhang um, sa imuhang uh, value of logarithm. So now, you have to take note of all, of all of these reminders because this will help you in solving or in changing your logarithmic to exponential or from exponential to your logarithmic. Okay, so we have here um, our common logarithms and our natural logar logarithms. So, can you please read common logarithms, Torlau? Yeah, can you please read? Not working microphone? Wala. How about Ando? Can you please read? Okay. 
common logarithms are logarithms with base 10 log logarithm log logarithm x times x is a short notation for logarithm x base of 10. Okay, thank you so much. Um, here in our common logarithm is no nanisiya that your logarithm has base of 10. So, na base of 10 ang imuhang logarithm. So, it is somehow um, used or isuwat siya in like this, log x. Or we're going to read this one as um, the logarithm of x. And then, that is the short of um, logarithm of x with base 10. So, pwede nang walay 10, basta common logarithms. Kay kabaw naman tanga na na siya base 10 dira. Pwede na lang log or log x or logarithm of x. Okay, basta hon din na siya class as the logarithm of x with base 10. Okay, or kanin siya the logarithm of x ra. So, that is our first one. Now, we have here natural logarithms. Um, can you please read Tagaylo? Natural logarithms are logarithms to the base E approximately 2.71828 are deno denoted by in, in order in other words, in x is other way of writing logarithm of x, the base of e. Okay, thank you so much. So, you have there, um, in our natural logarithms, or that is um, to the base e. So, makita man ni nato or na, nagian naman ni nato siya last time, di ba? We have there our natural number nga e. Or kani siya, this is our natural number. And if we're going to use calculator, that is approximately 2.71828. So, if we're going to use that one in logarithm, it is denoted by this one, ln. So, you have there, in other words, ln x is the other way of writing um, logarithm of x with base e or with a base natural number. So, you have there, pwede rin ani siya isuwat, wala nang nako siya na bold. ln and then x. Or the logarithm of your natural number x. Logarithm x of base natural number. Okay? Na subtan class. So these are the two lang uh, um, somehow used in our logarithms. Common and natural logarithms. Questions? Okay, question teacher. Yeah, sure. What? Uh, one more time. Dili siya matungog na icon, marag hangin. Okay, okay. Sige. Ah, uh, uh, nani, mapost ka video ani nga lesson teacher. Ah, yes. Ang uh, video lesson, okay, thank you. Mara na teacher. Ah, sige, okay. Sige, questions other than that? Kaning about sa tong discussion today? Nancy. Okay, nanra. Okay, ra. Sige. Now, this time is we are going to write exponential equation in logarithmic form. So, we are given here 2 raised to the pi, raised to the pi, 2 raised, uh, raised to 5 is equals to x. So, ato daw ni siyang i-change into um, logarithm nga form. So, how are we going to do that? But that is 2 raised to 5 is equals to x. Kaya nga man ta inverse ra siya, no? So, ako ipakita ang answer diri. And then, I want you to identify. So, what happened to our base nga to diri? Asa siya dapit sa tong logarithmic? Nasa base, sir. Okay, base gihapon siya. Very good. And then, what happened to our equals to x here? Diba, naana siya diri nagtapad sa ato ang um, log. And then, your exponent is, nahi mo na siya equal to 5. Because, nigon man tangang atong um, logarithm or atong logarithmic function, 
is kung ano siya. Um, exponent siya sa imuhang exponential form. So, that's why mong exponent nga 5 diha, that is equivalent to your log. So, if we're going to read this one from 2 raised to 5 is equals to x, it becomes um, the logarithm of x base 2 is equal to 5. Okay? The logarithm of x with base 2 is equal to 5. From this exponential equation to this one. Okay? So, I'll give you another example. And then, I will call someone to change it into logarithmic form. And I will give points for this. Sige, we have here 5 raised to 3 is equal to 125. Um, can you give the logarithmic form Pelayo? James. Five raised to three is equals to one hundred twenty-five. Same lang yapon sa tungi buhat dere. Kung naunsa na siya diha, maura po ni siya dere. Wala. Sige, who would like to answer? Demo try sir. Mo type. Ah, pwede na sa distorya lang. Answer. Logarithmic of x base 1. Base 5 niya. Times 125 equals 3. Okay. So, very good. Kinsa ganin na siya? Si Ando to? Yes, to Ando. Okay, very good. So, you have there um, the logarithm of 125 with base 5 is equivalent to 3 or equal to 3. Good job. Sige, questions. So, tanawon lang yun din yung pattern class. Kung base, imuhang 5 diri, base po siya diri. And then, imuhang 125 nga naa sa right, mabalhin nga siya sa left. And then, yung exponent is that is your equal. Okay? Sige. Let's have the next example. Um, the cilio. Can you give the logarithmic form of this? Seven raised to negative two is equals to one over forty nine. Try it, Sure. Ko an the logarithm of negative two equals one over forty nine. One more time. The logarithm of seven. The logarithm of seven. Of Negative 2 with base 7 equals 1 over 49. Okay. Hapit na. Hapit na. Nalay nagkailis. Sige. Try to identify the cilio. Your answer is the logarithm of negative 2 with base 7 is equals to 149. Nalay na exchange nila. Okay. Tagan ni clue. Exponent. Na change ni Mosia. Ay, Sige. The logarithm of one over forty nine eh, with the base seven equals negative two. Very good. Okay, so you have there the logarithm of 1 over 49 with base 7 is equals to negative 2. Okay, good job. Na-identify ra. Now, let's have the next one.
we have there 10 power of 2 is equals to 100. Sige, mas nindot mag-answer kung napas sa dool-dool class kay sa yun pa kayong given. Sige, kinsiganan mo answer katong wala pa kayo. Naghatag ba akong points class for participation? Ako, Chair. Sige, Rojo. Uh, logarithm of 10 with base... Ay, logarithm of 100 with base 10 is equal to 2. Okay, very good. Sakto ang answer. Who can give another one answer? Katong shorter way niya. Very good, Rojo. Sakto. Base 10, base 10, base 10 man ta diri. So, that is common logarithm. So, what will happen? Pero sakto gaya po ng answer ni Rojo. Pero napamantay shorter way ato. Sige, who can give? Logarithm of 100, sir. Logarithm of 100, and then? What happened to your 2? Sige, sakto na to siya na. Nawa lang yung exponent. You have there, logarithm of 100. Equals 2. Equals 2, very good. Or? Logarithm 100 equals 2. Sakto po to kang roho ganina. Which is, the logarithm of 100 with base 10 is equals 2. For this one is the shorter way. Okay, na sub 10 class. Very good, roho and the silio to no? Sige, questions? Questions? Okay, ra. Sige. Let's have our next example. We have there um, our natural number raised to 2 is equals to x. How are we going to change this one into logarithmic form? Sige, anyone? Na mas nindot siya to mag-answer na sa mga first nga ko ansa kay mas sayon sayon. Sige, who would like to try? Sige. Logarithmic, logarithmic of x base of 2 is 5. Base of e equals 2. Okay, logarithmic, logarithmic. <laughs> okay, logarithmic. Or the logarithm of x with base e is equal to 2. Okay, so somehow it's correct, but unsa gay to gamiton if we're going to use natural number? Sige, sakto gya pun separ na magutay proper way or proper nga uh, katong letters or katong gamiton. LN. Okay, LN. So how are we going to use this one? Your LN. Sige, anyone? LN. Ato ra siyang ipuli sa tuwang log. Same lang yapo na itong buhat ton. Panja. LN X base of E equals to. Okay. LN X and then is equals to 2. Okay. One more time, one more time. Ln of x base of e equals to. Ah, okay. Ln and then x base of e is equals to 2. 
actually we know uh we don't need to put x uh, e already so you can have ln and then x is equals to 2 derecho na siya no need to put the e na okay so you can use this one if we have our natural number okay sige let's have our last example class negative 2 raised to the power of 2 ah negative two. ah yeah Negative 2 raised to the power of 2 is equals to 4. What is our logarithmic form? Sige daw. Okay, I will call. Um, Lod. Balik-balik ko ang mag-participate class. Pero napod mo yung points. Sige. What is our logarithmic form here? Any one? Any two? Any three? Anybody? Sige, wala. How about Mascardo? One more time. Two, two equals two, two. Two, two is equals two, two. Okay, nice try, but no. Sige, kinsa pa? How about Blair? What is our logarithmic form here? Oh, uh, that's not sure. <laughs> sige, sige. How about... Yup! Um, I got... Two, seven, and five. Two, seven, and five. Where did you get oh, wait, seven wait, wait, and five? <laughs> wait, it's negative two. It's negative two. I forgot about the minus thing. Ah, uh, okay. No. Actually, the little kayang answer ani class. Sige. I'll give five points. Sama ka answer ani. Treacher. Sige, go. Charot. <laughs> Charot. Sige, ang tama. So, answer ka ng log logarithm of koan? Logarithm of 4 the base of negative 2 equals 2. Okay. Um, it's a nice try, but no. Sige, kung nakainom daw mo sa reminders ganina, nara dito ang answer. You have their negative 2 raised to the power of 2 is equals to 4. Just look at the given here in your exponential equation. Ln 2 equals, equals, ay ln 4 equals 2? No, we don't have here our, um, Natural number. Did it mention natural number? Natural number we can use LN. Sige. Try pag yun. If na kainom dom lang mo ganina. Or sa kong gistorya po. Sige. Five points right away. How much are you going to try? Sige. Sure. Answer. So, logarithm of negative or base of. Equals 2. Ah, parihara sa answer ni Tagaylo ganina. No. Sige.
Kinsa pa yung mo try? Negative 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 4. Tutu, Mariko, matutu. You want to run me while she smoke weed? <laughs> Sige. Wala. Ay, naradise na siya. Tawa ko na. Matry na balik siya. Sige. Um, Nagari, same of 4, base of negative 2 equals 2. Mmm. No. Okay. For our answer here, class, actually, it cannot be written in logarithmic form. Because we have there our base nga negative 2. Okay? We cannot have... Um, our, uh, this one into log logarithmic form because you have there the base of 2. So, kung ato ni siyang i-change into logarithmic form, di ba, yung, yung giingon ganina is, the logarithm of 4 with base negative 2 raised, uh, is equals to 2. So, dili man pwede negative ang ato ang base. So, that's why negative 2 here cannot be written in logarithmic form. Okay. So, mato siya kung gingon yan na if nakainumdo mo sa reminders na ala dito ang answer. Questions for um, writing exponential equation to, to logarithmic form. Questions? Answer. Okay, wala ra. But very good everyone for trying. Actually, na, kung anjud na ko ang atong na mga answer. Okay. Now, this time is we are going to have um, from logarithmic form, we're going to change it into exponential form. So, baliktad lang siya. And then, same lang yapo ng process ana process class. So, for example, we have the logarithm of 64 with base 2 is equals to 6. So, how are we going to change this into exponential? Manawag ko sa katong wala pa ha, para napod sila points. Um, how about labiste? Sige, the logarithm of 64 with base 2 is equals to 6. How are we going to change this into exponential? Wala, labiste. Okay, how about... Um... Dasilio, man dito, no? Nasayop dito ko ganina. Blair. Same rin na siya sa ganina, class. Gibali lang na to. The logarithm of 64 with base 2 is equal to 6. Okay, we have here 2 raised to the power of 6, na siya answer na sa chat, is equals to 64. Mm. That is correct, very good. Okay, good job. Um, Blair. So, you have there 2 raised to the power of 6 is equals to 64. Diba? Ningon man ta, ang kaning 2 na to diri, that is the base. And then, your equal in your in your logarithmic form, that is your exponent. And then, imuhang um, 64 diha is na na siya on the right side. 
Questions? Sige. Um, let's go to the next example. We have here um, log m is equals to n. Or the logarithmic of n. Uh, the logarithm of m is equals to n. Sige, ari na sa ta ni Seno. Naaw na ba si Seno? Wala si Seno, no? Um, yup. Um, I think for me, I think it's more like it can be written, but it's not. It can be written, but it's not. It's complicated for me to think. Okay. Complicated daw. Sige. Um, who can help? How about maglinte? Maglinte. Same regular na siya, class. I-follow lang ninyo kung giyon sa siya pag-change. Kung asa na dapit inyo hang number, wala gi mapuno ana nila. Or maybe na mapuno if kato na siyang common logarithm or naana siya sa, sa natural nga logarithm. Pero other than that, wala yung mapuno nga number, wala kay i-add, wala kay i-subtract, wala kay i-multiply, wala kay divide wala sige push ta sa lain mascardo wala sige kanyada tagsa tagsa unjud la sa para dili moingon nga wala na tawag para nagi points ang tanan oh can i guess ikaw Yes, sure. I guess it's a guess, but uh, ten exponent n equals m. One more time. Ten, ten. exponent n. Ten exponent n equals m. Very good. That is ten raised to the power of n, or ten exponent n is equals to m. Very good. Na araman day ni wika ba araman di ay ayon mo kawo ng story class kay sayang ka yung points ng yung madawat. Okay, since we have here our common logarithm, which is kung wakay makita ang base diha, that is equal to 10. So you have there 10 raised to the power of n, di ba exponent maning n nga nasa gawas? So yung mara siyang ibutang and then equals to m. Questions? Not sure. Wala ra? Okay, let's go to another one, which is we're going to evaluate logarithms. So here is we're going to solve what is the value of x in your logarithm. So you have here, for example, um, our the logarithm of 27 base 2, 3. So you have there. In order for to, uh, in order for you to solve this one is we are going to assign or we're going to let x is equals to um, the logarithm of 27 with base 3. So ato rin na siyang as is hang we have there the x. Okay? So now after you um, let x is equals to the logarithm of 27 with base 3, ang next step niya is we're going to change that one into exponential form. So, atong each change ang kaning x is equals to the logarithm of 27 with base 3. So, mo ito itong gibuhat kanina, di ba? Nag-change ito from logarithm to exponential. So, you have there 3 raised to x because that is your base and then you have there your exponent x and then equal to 27. Same raman na siya, class, if you have there uh, the logarithm of 27 with base 3 is equals to x. Same ra na siya ha? Kung bali-baliho ninyo. Kwa na siya, um, property na siya. 
equality property. So after you change that one into expon uh, exponential form, pwede na da yun to na to ma-apply ang atuang lesson last time, which is we're going to evaluate exponential function. So di ba pag evaluate na to exponential function on sa unya ni na to siya class? Sige, sa katong maka nakahinom dum pa. You have there 3 raised to the power of x is equals to 27. And say first step na to atong mag-change ta or mag-solve ta sa atong exponential function. Sige, napa ba'y nakahinom dum? Same ang ilang base. Very good. Okay. Same ilahang base. Kinsa to? Roha. Okay, Roha. Very good. Same na to ilahang base. So, as you can see, you have there 3 raised to the power of x. Atong base diri is 3. So, how can we change this 27 para ma, ma base niya kay 3? So, unsa man atong i-exponent sa 3 nga mo equal siya o 27? Okay, very good. So, you can have 3 raised to the power of x is equals to 3 raised to the power of 3. Because 3 times 3, 9 times 3, that is 27 man. And then, on sa next step, ani class, pag same na to sa lahang base. Ibang da ng exponent very good. We're going to bring down the exponent and that is now your answer. Which is, you bring down na to ang x and then you bring down na to ang 3. So, your um, value of x for your logarithm of 27 with base 3 is equal to 3. Okay, so ganina nag let x raman ta. So, ang katong x na to, substitute na na to siya sa 3. That is how you're going to evaluate logarithms. Questions? Usually, it's not supposed to be like switch from one location to another, no, Jer? Yeah. Mo na itong ibuhat ganina. Mag-change ta sa ihang location from, uh, not really location, pero gi-change na to siya from logarithmic form into exponential. And then after we change that into exponential form, is we are going to solve for the value of x. Na dayon. Okay? Questions? Wala right questions? Okay ra? Or naglibog pa? Sige, pwede lang mangutana ha? Okay. Sige, let's proceed with the next example. You have there uh, the logarithm of 625 with base 5. Sige. On say first step gani, we're going to let x. Okay, we're going to let x is equals to the log of 625 with base 5. Now, what's the next one? E exponential form, Shatcher. Okay, change na to e into exponential form. form. So, how are we going to change this into exponential form? Five raised to the power of x equals six hundred twenty-five. Okay, very good. We have 5 raised to the power of x is equals to 625. I-apply na to atong na-learn ganina ha? If na ah, i-apply na to siya here. So, you have there 5 raised to the power of x is equals to 625. 
5 ato ang base, ang kaning x dili is your exponent, and then equal to 625. Now, next step, unsay sunod. Okay, very good. It changed into exponent. So, on sa man ato ang dapat man equal siya sa 5, di ba? So, on sa man atong erase sa 5 para mahimo siya 625. Okay, very good. So, we have there 5 raised to the power of x is equal to 5 raised to the power of 4. 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 125 times 5, that is 100, uh, 625. Now, what's the next step? The next step is to change the 5x into an x equals to 5. Okay. It changed ba nato siya class? It bring down an exponent. Okay. It bring down na lang natong exponent. Okay, I bring down na to ang x, I bring down na to ang 4. Kay same base naman na sila. So, never mind na ng base. Diya, exponent ra itong i-bring down. And that is your x is equal to 4 and that is your answer. So, you will have there your final answer as the logarithm of, 20, of 625 with base 5 is equal to 4. Okay. Kaya kung imo mag-una siyang i-change into logarithmic, inani na siya o gawas balik. 5 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 625. And then 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 125 times 5, 625. So, they are equal. Okay? So, kanang x ni mo diha mo na siya yung 4. Kung imo na siyang i-substitute. Okay? Questions for the second example. Okay pa siya? Okay pa ta? Masabtan lang yun na class basta magkuan lang yun ta. Focus lang. Wala na questions? Okay. Wala? Okay, now let's go to our next example. So, we have here um, the logarithm of 0.01. Diba? First step na to is mag let x ta. So, let x is equals to log of 0.01. Ano say next step class? change into Saan ni nato siya? It change into Okay, exponential form. So how are we going to change this the log of 0 0.01 is equals to x. 1 to 10 to the power of x is equals to 0 0.01. Very good. We have 10 raised to the power of x is equals to 0 0.01. Now, this time class, dapat man same base sila. So, what will happen to your 0 0.01? Nga pariha sila base nga 10. Kung sa kahatong i-exponent. Okay, that is negative 2. Very good. So, you have there 10 raised to the power of x is equals to 10 raised to the power of negative 2. 
So, if you can still remember our loss of exponents, so if you have there negative ang exponent, you're just going to um, divide it by um, a neg uh, uh, negative form. So, you have there 10 raised to the power of negative 2, and then, on say next step class? Bring down the exponent so your x is equals to negative 2. Very good, Carl. Okay. Now, you have there your final answer. The logarithm of 0 0.01 is equals to negative 2. Questions for this example? Okay, none so far. Very good. Now, let's have the last example. You have there um, the log of 5, um, square root of 5 with base 5. So, this is 5, 5, 5. So, same process. Let x is equals to log or the logarithm of 5, square root of 5 with base 5. So, now, how are we going to change this into um, exponential form? Since this would this would naman is siya. 5 is equals to 5. No. Wala siya exponent card. Dili siya pwede 5 is equals to 5 lang. 1 plus 5 to the power of x is 1 plus 5 to the power of x. Okay. So, you have there 5 raised to the power of x is equals to 5 square root of 5. So, ang atong i-apply ani Carl katong ganina nga, writing from logarithmic to exponential. Okay? So, you have there your base nga 5 and then exponent nga x is equal to 5 square root of 5. Now, what is our next step here, class? So, ang next na tong step diri is we are going to um, simplify this 5 square root of 5. Okay? So, ang saan na na ito siya pagbuhat? So, since naman siya yung square root of 5 class, pwede na ninyo siyang buwagon. So, that is 5 times um, 5 raised to the power of 1 half. Kaya ang square root class, if it change na na ito siya exponential form, that is 1 half man. Okay? Kaning square root. Okay? So, you have there 5 times 5 raised to the power of 1 half. And as you can see, they have the same base already. So, ipang bring down na na to siya. So, you have their x and then ang kaning 5 na na siya yung 1 nga exponent. And then this one is 1 half. And then you're just going to add 1 plus 1 half. So, pila man ang 1 plus 1 half class. That is... One and one half sir. One and one half. Ah, yes. <laughs> Actually, one and one half. So, if we're going to have that one into fraction, that is 3 over 2. Diba? And then, 3 over 2, that is your final answer. So, the logarithm of 5 square root 5 ba with base 5 is equals to 3 halves. Or 1 and 1 half. Okay, so that is now your final answer. And that is it for our lesson for today as well. Questions? Clarifications, violent reactions. So, no participation today. Labiste, maglinte. Uh, Mascardo tried. And then, Seno wala. Tolentino wala. Torla wala. And then, for the girls, na participation tanan. Okay, na questions? Wala. Okay ra? Okay ra, Jod? Okay, so wala ko rin question, no? Kay silent mode man. So, now class, um, magpa-remind lang ko, ha? 
Um, I will open all the quizzes, both pre-calculus and um, pre-calculus of general mathematics. Nga klase. I will open it until Kwanra, 18. Because 19, ano, 17 day, tomorrow raman day kutub, no? So, tomorrow ra day class at 12 midnight. Okay? At 12 midnight. Kay Thursday, kwa naman mo, kanang test naman mo, lain sa game, magbuhat yapon mo sa quizzes. Okay? So, ang inyong buhat on is kato na lang. And then, mag-ask lang ko ha about sa inyong performance test. Sa pre-calculus, gani, di ba? Student, mag-yapon sa tamo, no? So, you have there for your performance test, nakabuhat na ba mo, class? So, wala ba niya ako siya na-explain sa, so, pero ako siyang gi-detail ang pag-suwat dere. So, you're going to make mini magazine. Um, your task is to do a mini magazine that will allow you to compile your learnings in our lesson. So, you can use, akong giingon is, pwede ba paper, pwede po digital applications. So, what you're going to do is, just put all the lessons that we had there and what you learn about that lesson. So, na ako'y gihatag nga example ninyo, which is this one. So, pwede, it's kuha na lang yun ninyo. And then, i-compile lang tong tanan atong gi-discuss for semi-final sa ato ang pre-calculus. Okay? So, I hope makita ko good outcome kay wala pa man ko nagtan-aw class kung kinsa ang dan na ani. Okay? Pero na yung mga attempts nga 5. Pero wala pa ko kita. Okay, so, I think, kana lang sa class and then prepare for a quiz and an assignment for your general mathematics nga lesson today. Okay? So,